Hi guys, welcome to Telecom Forum channel. This is Alam Prasen Chandran. Today we are going to discuss about how to resolve the link failure alarm in 4G technology. The link failure alarm may be arises due to the following reasons. The reasons are the fiber connectivity between baseband to RRU has been broken or damaged. The SFE models were faulty in baseband as well as RRU. The SFE ports in RRU as well as baseband were faulty. Sometimes RRU has no power due to the power issue. So these are the main reasons for the link failure alarm. So if you want to troubleshoot the issue, we have to log in the baseband through Moshal. So let me proceed to the content. Just to log in the baseband through Moshal. From the very beginning, just type ALT command in order to get the alarms from the baseband. As we have to see, we have the link failure alarm for the FTD 1800 all the three sectors. Radio link 2, 4, 6 are having the link failure alarm and also we have the service degraded alarm. In the meanwhile, if you want to check the cell status, we have to type the command ST space cell. We will get the cell result also. We have to type the INVXR command in order to get the complete hardware details. We have to troubleshoot deeply to find out the hardware. Here we can able to see RRV number 2, 4, 6 are having the question mark due to the link failure alarm. Here we couldn't be able to get the status for the fault operational and maintenance status for the all the three RRV units of FTD 1800. Similarly, we will get the other results also. We will get the RA link status also. Here also we can see ID 16, 17, 18 are having RA link as down for the FTD 18 under sector 1, 2 and 3. Here we can able to get the details about RA number 6 and 5, data 1, 2, data 2, connectivity loss. So due to the link failure, the RRV has no power, so we have the link failure alarm. So because of this issue, we may not get the VSWR value also for the all the three RRUs. And now we can able to see the VSWR status for the mentioned RRUs. Here we can able to get RRV number 2 has no VSWR, which means 0. Similarly, RRV number 4 and RRV number 6 also has the same issue due to the link failure alarm. It was not reflecting any VSW value. There is a connectivity issue between baseband to RRU. So the link failure alarm was updated. Because of this issue, it was not showing any VSW for the all the three RRU units of FDD 1800. Still we have link failure and service degrader alarms in FTD 1800. Now we have find the issue and fix the issue as well. As RRV has no powers for all FTD 1800. Now the alarm is cleared. Right now external alarm and the emergency alarm key required alarms are existing in 4G. If you type the INVXR command, we will be able to get the connectivity between baseband to RRU as well. Now we can able to see RRU number 2, 4, 6 are connected with baseband. So we will get the complete details about the connectivity between baseband to RRU. Similarly, we will get the RI link status for the above mentioned RRUs as well. So radio link 2, 4, 6 RRU is connected with other RRUs through fibers. The link status is up right now before it was down due to no power in the RRU. So finally we will get the VSW for the mentioned RRU as well. Now RRU number 2 has two branches so it was uh, showing the VSWR 
that is 1.3 and 1.5. Similarly, we have RRE4, it is showing the VSWR that is 1.15 and 1.21. Finally, RRE number 6 that is FDD 1800 sector C has VSWR as well 1.15 and 